Hi folks, Stippling here with the first of hopefully many developer updates for the upcoming Bionicle character creator that I'm working on. If you haven't heard, I'm releasing a character creator to you that will allow you to create characters in the same style as the animations for this channel. Since that announcement, I've worked on a lot of coding behind the scenes that have really given this game a lot of polish. So I wanna show you where I'm at with this today and you can follow along through the coming weeks and months to see how the game comes along. The first thing you'll notice is that I've designed my own vibrant little cursor for the game. While not that exciting of a feature, a cursor functions to give you agency while you play the game. And it's definitely something you'll see a lot of if you spend any time in this system. One of the most fun things about designing your own character is giving it a unique name to match its personality. Since the announcement, I've added the naming option to the creator. So all you have to do is go up into this box and you'll see it starts blinking. Just type in any name you choose and hit save to make it permanent. It's that easy. If your character is already saved, it will prompt you and ask if you wanna overwrite your save. So in this case, yes, we'd like to save our character. And that brings me to the next feature, saving. So at this point in development, characters can now be preserved through the saving feature. If I make any changes to this character, whether it's one single small change or dozens and dozens of major changes, as long as I don't save the character character again, I can revert it back to the previous save. After the character is reverted to the previous save, hitting reset again puts it back to the default starting options, but the character is not lost. Hitting revert a third time will bring you right back to the character save. As you can see, there's a lot of creative flexibility to play with the system without losing your hard-earned work. Lastly, I've re-rigged the entire character from the ground up. The way the system was coded for animation would yield some crazy results if the character screen was left idle for too long. I've tightened everything up and now the animations are smooth and consistent. In the coming weeks, I plan to continue my work on developing and implementing masks. I've been laying the foundation to program the masks into the system, but I still have some artistic work to do in designing and drawing as many masks as I can. In the next developer update, I want to answer your questions. So let me know in the comments below what you want to know about the game, and I'll do my best to answer as many questions as I can. Until next time, thanks for watching.